including ecosystem services and really tracking how development impacts the provision of ecosystem services to specific beneficiaries and how whether or not mitigation options restore those benefits or not um, is really important. And we've seen this in the U.S. with the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act requires that wetlands that are lost to development be restored elsewhere. But in deciding where to restore wetlands and how much wetlands need to be restored, the policy has tended to focus on metrics of biodiversity and ecosystem function, but hasn't made those links to ecosystem services and benefits to people clear. Um, and this has caused problems in the U.S. because it means that um, many wetlands that are developed are developed in urban areas, and the opportunities to restore these wetlands tend to be um, in more rural areas uh, where there's been less development already. Uh, and so when wetlands are lost in urban areas and then restored elsewhere, this has led to a loss of ecosystem service benefits from wetlands, such as recreational opportunities, um, protection from storms, uh, and other benefits associated with wetlands. Um, so it's led to a loss of those benefits from uh, poor urban communities, and then a transfer of those benefits to communities in less densely developed areas that tend to be wealthier. Restoring wetland ecosystems in these more rural areas has restored wetland function and contributed to uh, restoring wetland biodiversity, but it hasn't restored the ecosystem services that were lost for the specific people who were impacted by the loss of wetlands in the first place. OPAL takes information on ecosystems and where people are located and how those ecosystems provide benefits to people in terms of uh, drinking water quality, uh, climate regulation, in terms of carbon sequestration, and then the, the habitats that are located in different places and provides information on how a particular development project is likely to impact both those habitats and ecosystem services, and then what op different options are for offsetting those impacts in accordance with policy. So for example, the tool allows users to see if a mine is proposed for a particular site or a road or an oil and gas facility in a particular site, how loss of uh, natural ecosystems would affect both biodiversity and ecosystem services, and then how offsets can be selected that would protect biodiversity and also secure ecosystem service benefits for the same people who might be um, affected by the development in the first place.